page 327, problem number one. Find the exact value of the expression. And what we're given is the arc sine of one half. Now, another way of writing this is the inverse sine of one half. Okay, so what this is saying is find the angle whose sine is equal to one half. So what we're looking for is the angle measure whose sine is equal to one half. So I'm going to draw a sketch here. So I'm trying to draw a right triangle whose, now I know sine is opposite over hypotenuse, whose opposite over hypotenuse is one half. Well, completing this right triangle, I know that this is one of those special right triangles, and I know theta must be equal to 30 degrees. So the exact value of this expression, what I'm looking for is the angle measure, whose sine is one half, and that angle is 30 degrees. Now this answer could be in degrees or radians. 30 degrees is a sixth of the way to a straight line, so that's equal to pi over 6. Now, careful. You could draw a right triangle over here, such that the opposite over hypotenuse is equal to 1 half, but inverse sine has a limited range, so we're only talking about angle measures between negative 90 degrees and positive 90 degrees. So we can't draw any triangles over here that would make this true. Okay, second problem, arc sine of zero. So this is can also be rewritten as the inverse sine of zero, meaning we want to find the angle whose sine is zero. Well, if we take a look at our original diagram, we want an angle whose opposite over hypotenuse is zero over, and it can be zero over anything. So basically, we, we want to get this opposite side equal to zero. Well, if I make this angle bigger and bigger, this opposite side also gets bigger and bigger. But if I make this angle smaller and smaller, this opposite side will get smaller and smaller and approach zero. And in fact, if I try to draw a triangle so that that opposite side was as small as possible, it would look something like this. There's that opposite side. The only way to make that opposite side equal zero is if this angle here is also equal zero. So that's the angle we're looking for, zero degrees, which in radians I can just write as zero. So the exact value of each expression we can write in degrees and radians.